Conflict is inevitable, but combat is optional. Max Lucado, do you ever feel a knot in your stomach when you think about that unresolved issue at work? Have you ever found yourself rehearsing a confrontation in your head, unsure of how to handle it? Or maybe you're the type who avoids conflict altogether, hoping it will somehow resolve itself. If any of these scenarios sound familiar, you're in the right place. Mini test. How well do you handle workplace conflicts? Before we dive in, let's take a quick quiz to gauge your conflict handling skills. Keep track of your answers. We'll revisit them at the end of the article to see how you can improve your conflict handling skills. Bo, when faced with a conflict at work, what's your first instinct? Address it head on. Avoid it and hope it goes away. Seek a third party to mediate. How do you feel about confrontation? Comfortable and confident? Anxious and stressed? Indifferent? How often do conflicts at work get resolved to your satisfaction? Most of the time. Rarely. Occasionally. Do you consider the perspectives of others during a conflict? Always. Sometimes. Rarely. How do you handle your emotions during a conflict? Stay calm and composed. Get upset and emotional. Try to hide your feelings. The importance of handling conflicts. Conflicts in the workplace are not just common. They're a natural part of human interaction. Whether it's a disagreement over project direction, a clash of personalities, or competition for resources, conflicts can arise from many sources. Yet how we handle these conflicts can significantly impact our work environment, relationships, and even our careers. Imagine you're Alex, a project manager, who thrives on structure and deadlines. Now picture Jamie, a creative director who values flexibility and innovation. When these two collaborate on a project, their differing styles might lead to friction. However, if managed well, their collaboration could also result in a groundbreaking project that leverages both structure and creativity. The key lies in handling their conflicts constructively. Understanding the root causes of workplace conflicts. To effectively handle conflicts, we first need to understand their root causes. Here are some common triggers. Communication breakdown. Misunderstandings and lack of clear communication are prime culprits. For example, if Alex sends an email that Jamie interprets as micromanaging, tension can build. Diverging goals and values. Conflicts often arise when individuals have different priorities or values. Alex might prioritize meeting deadlines, while Jamie might prioritize creative freedom. Resource competition. Limited resources such as time, money, or manpower can lead to conflicts. If Alex and Jamie are both vying for the same resources for their respective projects, clashes are inevitable. Personality clashes. Sometimes conflicts stem from personality differences. Alex's detail-oriented approach might clash with Jamie's big-picture thinking. Strategies for handling conflicts. Now that we understand why conflicts occur, let's explore some strategies to handle them effectively. Communicate openly and honestly. Open communication is the foundation of conflict resolution. Encourage a culture where team members feel safe to express their concerns. Alex might say, Jamie, I value your creative input, but I'm concerned about our timeline. Can we find a way to balance both? Listen actively. Listening is just as important as speaking. Practice active listening by giving your full attention, acknowledging the other person's perspective, and asking clarifying questions. Jamie might respond, I understand the importance of the timeline. Let's discuss how we can incorporate creativity without missing our deadlines. Seek common ground. Focus on shared goals and interests. Alex and Jamie both want the project to succeed. By identifying this common ground, they can work towards a solution that satisfies both their needs. Stay calm and composed. Emotions can run high during conflicts. Maintaining a calm demeanor helps prevent escalation. If Alex feels frustrated, taking a few deep breaths before responding can make a big difference. Use I statements. Framing your concerns with I statements helps avoid blame and defensiveness. Instead of saying, Jamie, you're always ignoring deadlines, Alex could say, I feel stressed when deadlines are not met because it impacts our overall project plan. Real-life stories and practical insights. Let's look at some real-life scenarios to illustrate these strategies in action. Story 1. The Marketing Mix-Up Sarah, a marketing manager, and David, a sales director, were at odds over a new campaign. Sarah felt that David's sales-driven approach undermined the creative vision. 
David believed Sarah's ideas were too risky and not aligned with sales goals. Resolution. They decided to have a candid discussion where they each explained their perspectives. Sarah realized the importance of aligning the campaign with sales targets, and David saw the value in incorporating innovative ideas. By collaborating, they developed a campaign that was both creative and effective, boosting sales and brand image. Story 2. The IT Department Dilemma Chris, an IT manager, clashed with Kelly, a finance officer, over budget allocations for new software. Kelly was focused on cost saving, while Chris emphasized the need for modern technology to improve efficiency. Resolution. They involved a third party, their COO, to mediate. The COO facilitated a discussion where both Chris and Kelly could voice their concerns. They eventually agreed on a phased rollout of the new software, spreading the cost over several quarters. This compromise addressed both the financial constraints and the need for technological upgrades. Story 3. The Remote Work Conundrum Amelia, a team leader, and Rob, a senior developer, faced a conflict regarding remote work policies. Amelia believed that frequent in-person meetings were essential for team cohesion, while Rob, who thrived in a remote work environment, argued that flexibility was key to productivity. Resolution they decided to run a trial period of hybrid meetings, where some were held in person and others virtually. They gathered feedback from the team to see what worked best. This approach not only resolved their conflict, but also led to a more flexible and inclusive work policy that benefited the entire team. Expert insights and key takeaways. Renowned psychologist Daniel Goleman in his book Emotional Intelligence emphasizes the role of self-awareness and empathy in managing conflicts. Goldman suggests that understanding our own emotional triggers and being empathetic towards others can significantly improve our conflict resolution skills. Brene Brown, in her book Dare to Lead, highlights the importance of vulnerability and courage in leadership. Brown argues that addressing conflicts openly and honestly, even when it feels uncomfortable, builds trust and fosters a positive work environment. Simon Sinek, in his book Leaders Eat Last, discusses the importance of creating a safe and trusting environment where employees feel valued and heard. Scenic's insights reinforce the idea that effective conflict resolution is a cornerstone of strong leadership. Practical advice for everyday conflicts. Set clear expectations. Establishing clear expectations from the start can prevent many conflicts. Whether it's project deadlines, roles, or responsibilities, clarity reduces misunderstandings. Regular check-ins. Schedule regular check-ins with your team to address any brewing issues before they escalate. This proactive approach keeps communication lines open. Foster a positive work culture. Encourage a culture of respect and collaboration. Recognize and reward teamwork and address toxic behavior promptly. Develop conflict resolution skills. Invest in training for conflict resolution. Workshops and seminars can equip employees with the tools they need to handle conflicts effectively. Encourage a solution-oriented mindset. Shift the focus from the problem to the solution. When conflicts arise, guide the conversation towards finding a mutually beneficial resolution. Encourage team members to brainstorm solutions together, fostering a collaborative approach. Lead by example. As a leader, your approach to conflict sets the tone for your team. Demonstrate constructive conflict resolution by handling your own conflicts with grace and empathy. Your behavior will serve as a model for others. Utilize conflict management frameworks. Frameworks like Thomas Kilman, Conflict Mode Instrument, TKI, can help you understand different conflict handling styles, competing, collaborating, compromising, avoiding, and accommodating, and when to use each one. This knowledge can be invaluable in navigating conflicts effectively. Encourage feedback and continuous improvement. So after resolving a conflict, gather feedback from all parties involved to understand what worked well and what could be improved. Use this feedback to refine your conflict resolution strategies and foster a culture of continuous improvement. Conclusion. Handling conflicts in the workplace is an essential skill that can significantly impact your professional relationships and career growth. By understanding the root causes of conflicts, communicating openly, and using practical strategies to address issues, you can transform potential clashes into opportunities for collaboration and innovation. Remember, 
conflict resolution is not about winning or losing. It's about finding a solution that works for everyone involved. As you navigate the complexities of workplace dynamics, keep these strategies in mind and approach conflicts with a mindset of empathy, understanding, and cooperation. Turning conflicts into constructive dialogues can foster a more inclusive and harmonious workplace, paving the way for increased productivity and job satisfaction. As Brene Brown wisely said, daring leaders work to make sure people can be themselves and feel a sense of belonging. Answers to the quiz. When faced with a conflict at work, what's your first instinct? Address it head on. How do you feel about confrontation? Be comfortable and confident. How often do conflicts at work get resolved to your satisfaction? Is most of the time. Do you consider the perspectives of others during a conflict? Always. How do you handle your emotions during a conflict? Stay calm and composed. If you didn't score as well as you'd hoped, don't worry. The strategies and insights shared in this article are designed to help you improve your conflict handling skills. With practice and a positive approach, you can turn workplace conflicts into opportunities for growth and success. By adopting these strategies, you'll not only enhance your ability to manage conflicts, but also contribute to a healthier, more productive work environment. So. Next time you face a conflict at work, remember that you have the tools and knowledge to handle it effectively.